Alright, starting back, it's uh, like 8.42 p.m. on uh, September 18th, uh, exactly two weeks after this video went viral and all that. <coughs> uh, What's this video called on YouTube? Uh, like Crazy Landlord, Lady Attacks Man or whatever. Um, I'll let you see it in the list. But yeah, resuming back to what we were talking about, and uh... <laughs> And just if anybody happened to see this video, I, I call myself Man Slave, and it's for the uh, YouTube channel uh, called Validation Warfare because that's what the gender war I think is a lot of what goes on within the gender war. Would you agree, Dylan? Validation warfare. Yeah, and because men and women struggle for validation. Like um, that's like like men need sex for validation because of the whole. And poop mouth need everything. Yeah, well, well, you know, the the poop mouth woman, she needs a man to feel validated because, like, well, just like my former owner when she sexually exploited me and you know, um, and had a kid. Well, just like man, woman myth talks about all that kind of stuff. You know, I wanted a baby. You know, that that video. I wanted woman, a baby. I wanted a baby because my sister had a baby, and I or my cousin or whoever. Or my cousin had a baby, and I wanted a baby. Yeah, because well, they, they you know, they. They they know that as a vagina, that's the only contribution that they can make to society, and they they want to be validated. They they want to feel, you know, what I'm saying like a whole person or whatever. So a woman would therefore need to have kids, and that's why you know this epidemic of single motherhood. You know, they lie to their boyfriends or whatever their husbands say they're on the pill even though they're not. Now now men are very much. Um, we have been trained in a way, domesticated in some instances throughout. To always so need like fucking vagina. Well, to every need, yeah, in a way, to need a woman for a motherly companionship. And, and I think it's the reason why why there is such white knightism, you know. Yeah. And, and each gender struggles for validation from the other, but at the same time, it's such a dysfunctional struggle. Yeah. And uh, my my channel name. That's one of the few that I could think of that, that was available on YouTube. Because even though the various accounts had been closed by somebody who had manslave or who had whatever else, uh, or like Gender Warrior <laughs> and all that, they had all these, all these accounts have been closed. They don't exist anymore. But yet, the username is not available anymore for anybody. They won't let you use it. So, uh, validation warfare was like the only thing that you know that I could think of, and it was still available. <laughs> Red film, <laughs> and uh, oh my gosh, you know I have thought about like like ultra film or rad bigot or something like that. But like, could you imagine somebody like us, you know, who's like men going their own way, <laughs> would call themselves like <laughs> like fem bigot or something like that. <laughs> Could you imagine what the reaction would be? Dude, we should start up a channel like that. Wouldn't that be an awesome, like, channel? Yeah, like, uh, how Sex Luthor uses Big Night to fight Superman? <laughs> <laughs> sex Poop Mouth fight, fight Superman with uh, Big Night? <laughs> it's, not, it's, not, it's not as funny if you say, you have to know that you're saying, I mean, most people would know like Luthor or Superman, but it's funny if you say Sex Luthor. Because <laughs> it doesn't make sense if you say Sex Poop Mouth. That's not the same. So Sex Luthor uses Big Night <laughs> to defeat Superman. Well, because what it does is, what it would do, what Big Night would do is it would it would turn his testosterone into estrogen and then fuck up his mind. Oh, no. <laughs> and then he would just give up the fight for equality and justice. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, is that what would happen? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> All right, continuing on. Okay. Keep it up. Call. Oh, she says he's sick animal. Why? Because he got the shit kicked out of him? I mean, oh, yeah, he's just like, call the police. Like, Seriously, if you want to fucking call the police, go ahead and goddamn do it, because that new jack shit. I know, usually guilty people, like, basically try to run away or hide or whatever. They don't say, come on, call cops. He's just so confident, dude. They're never going to get him in trouble. That poor woman. 
Man, the dude in the green hat, he just, he just stand there. Let smug grin on his face. And he just stands there and he's like, come on, when's this going to be over? And then, and then the, the dude in the white shirt, he's like, you know, I'm tired of this shit. Maybe if no, I just fuck the boss around the man. I think you're giving him too much credit. I don't even think they realize what's going on. They probably believe, she probably fucking... Well, I'm just saying their expression is what, th this coincides with their expression. You know what I'm saying? No. Well, definitely. I'm not saying that's what they're thinking. No, there's, no way, there's no way they're picking up on it. But but that's like their their instinctive reaction. You know what I'm saying? Like green, the dude in the green hat is just like, I mean, his expression on his face and his body language suggests to me, come on, let's just go. And then that's how the dude in the white shirt was at first. But then the dude in the white shirt, it's I think, because they know that they, it's because they know that. Yeah, she can make a big fucking stink. But right now, since he's got the film, it doesn't matter what she does and. To keep doing it is fucking pointless. It's a waste of time. I think the dude in the white shirt reached his breaking point of like how much fucking. He probably, does, he he probably he's probably pissed off because of the way she's fucking acting. But That's I'm what I'm saying. saying yeah. yeah. In general, the green guy, green hat guy, look at him. He's green just guy. he knows. He's like, well, they both know it's bullshit. They're there the whole time. I know, but it's fucking. That's the whole reason why they're even. Why they're giving up is because they know. Well, he's got fucking he's got footage. So <laughs> let's say he smashes camera and destroys the SD card, which apparently didn't happen. Yeah, but uh, it's too bad he didn't have like a camera in the room. But uh, yeah, dude, like this hey, guy. Hey, you open the guy cabinet? Okay. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you need you need praise beak, child. Yeah, you need pet the beak. Yeah, you do need pet the beak. <laughs> Call the police again! You put your hands on I never touched her! Now this is uh, some of the most bullshit stuff in you here. You put your hand on her! Hey. Have you watched the fucking guy get beaten by her? I mean, he was there the whole day. If anyone put their hands on anyone, it's the bitch put their hands on that guy. Well, it's what it is that shows the white knight mentality. Well, uh, you know, and... Go protect Will Go, because you can't do it yourself. Well, I've got to serve a purpose in life. i got to feel validated. Fuck a patriarchy, man. Keeping that poor woman down. Ugh. Patriarchy. It's just everywhere. It's, it's worse than Al-Qaeda. Well, the patriarchy pays Al-Qaeda to do their work. Oh, my gosh. But see, see, this is this is one of the worst parts of this video because that guy in the white shirt was there the whole damn time. Yeah, he knows what happened. Yeah, he seen... Can you put your hands down? He probably he's, supposed to get in a fight. He's seen that the that the that the guy you know, the camera guy was trying to avoid the woman. He's seen that the camera guy didn't do anything. And then now he's going up and he's saying, Did you touch her? Did you do something? Even though he was there to witness that the, the camera guy didn't. didn't. Yeah. Never touched her. I never touched her. I never touched her. I never touched her. I never touched her. Now the uh, green hat guy's getting involved because, and they're both getting involved because she won't shut up. And this is why, and now apparently, like you said, Squeaky Wheel gets the grease. This is, I advocate, in, okay, instead of men getting fed up with women and fucking punch them in the face and shit, um, like some guys want to do, I mean, that is equality, and I'm in favor of equality, but I don't think that violence is what's necessary. I think we should take... More like violence is effective. Yes, it's not necessary. I don't, I, don't I don't advocate violence either, but it is equality. But at the same time, it's what's Whoever's necessary. Right. What's necessary is violence. Because violence isn't going to change the way people think. Exactly. If anything, it's just going to cause more bullshit. Because it's going to cause more. Problems. This is why violence is unnecessary because it will only escalate the problem and it won't solve. But what we should do is, okay, I, I think in this case. More of a Martin Luther King, peaceful disobedience is more of a necessary and effective way to go about it in this regard. Um, now, in your attitude, I think uh, I think a Malcolm X approach would be <laughs> a little more effective. You know what I'm saying? You got to be careful. You, you got to understand that there are enemies out there and all that. But when it comes down to the issue of violence, you, you really should be more like Martin Luther King or Gandhi or whatever. Because the system is there to recognize violence. 
and those who use violence as an entity that should be penalized and that sort of thing. So I think we should do more of a squeaky wheel gets the grease. We should let them hit Make us. A big fucking stink. Yeah. Basically, we should do what I did that night at Walmart. <laughs> Even though I didn't get, it didn't get anything solved, but that's why I was so mad that night. Because it's like, what the fuck? So it's like, since I'm being courteous and just, you know, try not, try not to be an asshole, I'm not going to get any help. But if I act like a total piece of fucking shit and make a huge fucking deal out of something, people are going to bend over backwards to, like, basically, basically pay me to, like... For reward. Yeah, well, well I know, but I'm, I'm thinking in the Wendy's, like, I'll, I'll pay you to, to not make a huge fucking deal out of something. And in that case with Wendy's, you know, the payment was a free meal yeah. or Here's whatever. Here's free fucking food because you're throwing a massive goddamn bitch fit. It's not that you actually have a legitimate concern, it's that... You want to, You know that if you throw a big fucking deal, then you're gonna get this for free, and uh, they do it. And so, um, what I think we should do is, when women hit us, when they use violence against us, we should be like, this. This is your feminist right here. This is how women are these days. They think they can just go around hitting people and all that. I mean, look what they're doing. Here I am. I'm just talking like this. And, and all that, and I'm not using violence. And this fucking bitch is going up and tagging me. Here's how women are today. This is your, this is your feminized uh, woman today. This is, this is your, your victim in this day and age. And this is the shit they do. Look, look at how, notice how they're being an assailant, a perpetrator, and yet they're, they're, they're the ones claiming that they're a fucking victim. You know? And then we should just like make a big fucking fuss and make a big fucking scene. Do not damage property. Do not harm anybody. Do not steal anything. Do not get in anybody's pants. And, and definitely do not kill anybody. But that doesn't mean that you can't piss people off. Because this world is about dumping shit on people, apparently. So, you know, don't kill anybody. Don't injure anybody. Don't steal their stuff. Don't break their stuff. Uh, you know, and don't do anything sexual. What does that have to do with anything? Please. Well, because this is about making yourself invulnerable or to minimize vulnerability to yourself. Uh, and then, and then, but yeah, you can still. Are, but what you should you bitch at people. Are you saying in general, <laughs> in overall, general. these are five tenets that you should always follow, or something? Well, let's say if you follow them, you're less likely to have consequences. Well, yeah, that's true, but it's the same thing. It's like I. I but yet you are free to fuck see, a I bitch. See, I see what you mean. Yeah, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. Uh, fuck. Because the system will fucking pounce on you if you don't no, obey this. That's shit. not what I'm saying. I'm saying about the sex thing. You could say, "Oh, don't have sex because then you're invulnerable." Bullshit. That's not true at all. And if anything, all it it lets you know that yeah, eventually after your life's already been ruined because <coughs> someone said that about you, maybe someday the truth will come out and. And you'll still be fucking ruined, but at least maybe some people will know better. It has nothing to do with well, that. It, it's, it has nothing to do with. There's no 100%. Well, I'm not gonna get rape allegation and get used against me, because basically the only reason you well, should. Well, it won't be provable if you had like no contact with the person. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that it. It won't. That the allegation won't happen. I I agree. It's a, and that's all that matters is the allegation. It doesn't I'm matter. Not. Any. It has nothing to do with evidence. It's but now, start has been said. It's been said. Yeah, it has, and the damage is done by that being said. Mm -hmm. um, unless you can have a video like this. It, yeah, that's what I'm saying, but you could just say... And, and it's sad that it fucking takes this. If you want to have sex, get a fucking camera and film... It, 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 exactly. Like, film yourself fucking whoever it is, and film yourself beforehand. You know how many people that saved from going to prison? That's the only way... That's the only way that you can... That's the only... It, evidence that would work would and be filming exactly it. and the camera has become more of a safety device than a, than even a condom now and, which is sad to actually say that but if anything it's uh i would rather have some well uh, it's not really i don't know what i was gonna say but basically if 